Hubei, China, is a significant birthplace of the Yangtze River culture and Chu culture, and is abundant in bronze relics known as the Bronze Kingdom. With national treasures such as the Sword of Gojian and the Chime Bells of Marquis Yi as typical representatives. The Sword of Gojian has been buried deep in the ground for more than 2,500 years, and it is still extremely sharp and shiny as new. The metal content of this sword is quite complex, not only copper and tin, but also lead and iron. The body of the sword contains a large amount of copper, which makes the sword very tough and not easy to break, and the blade has a high tin content and high hardness, making it very sharp. To sum up, the forging of the sword of Gojian adopts the composite metal process. According to literature records, other countries in the world only started to use this composite metal process in modern times. In ancient China more than 2000 years ago, how they mastered and proficiently used this technology is another question that cannot be solved. In 1978, when the Bianzhong of Marquis Yi of Zheng was unearthed, although it had been buried for more than 2400 years, it still remained suspended underground. The bell has a wide range and accurate tones, and also has the characteristics of one bell with two tones, which means one bell has two completely different tones for the front beating and the side beating. This set of bells with the largest number, the best preservation and the most magnificent bells found in China so far weighs more than 5,000 kilograms and is made of copper, tin and lead. The main body of the bell adopts techniques such as round carving, relief carving, and inscription, and the surface is decorated with human, animals, dragons, flowers and geometric patterns, and inscriptions are engraved to indicate the pronunciation of each bell. The excavation of Bianzhong of Marquis Yi of Zheng not only shows the world the superb bronze casting skills of ancient China, but also represents the extremely high achievements of China's pre-Qin ritual and music civilization.